coming in tonight. If yeah. there is any silver lining, it's that for places like with burn bands like this, at least they'll get some rain. Yeah, one to two inches of rain is what we're thinking overnight tonight. We just have to get through it without having any severe thunderstorms. Right. But right now we have a severe thunderstorm watch. It goes until 10 o'clock. It's going to be all these counties here shaded in pink. That does include Smith County, a portion of Gregg County, also a portion of Rusk yeah. County. I know that has Henderson in there. So this puts all of the counties that are in the watch, but I showed you that watch box earlier and it kind of cuts the area in half and back out to the west. Starting to see a few showers popping up in parts of Anderson County near Palestine. Not severe one. Trying to get a little better organized here to the west of Crockett. These thunderstorms out here have rapidly intensified and they have some nickel sized tail in that one near uh, Waxahachie and that continues to move up to the northeast about 40 miles an hour. The probability of severe hail in that is about 50% right now. No tornado impact in any of these cells so that's good news. That's what we're going to watch Carefully. Again, as these move to the northeast at 41 miles an hour, they'll move into Quinlan at about 551 and Gun Barrel City just after 6. So if you're watching us from Gun Barrel City, these clusters of thunderstorms out here to the northeast of Hillsboro should be arriving in that area about 6 o'clock. Storm Prediction Center has continued its slight risk for East Texas. That means we're going to see scattered severe thunderstorms, hail, wind, a tornado possible. It's a low end threat, but it's still there. The biggest threat tonight is this hail threat. And when you see these lines, that means it is a significant or a threat of significant hail, meaning that it could be bigger than golf ball sized hail. We could get hen egg sized hail. That's a thing. Yes, it is uh, upward toward maybe two inch in diameter hail. So you get closer to baseball sized hail in that. So a, even though it's an elevated threat and with those hatched lines, it means that there could be significant hail within some of these cells. So here's future skycast. We're going to start this at seven o'clock. So in about an hour and a half from now, and I think this is modeling those showers and thunderstorms in parts of Anderson County continuing to grow upstream. And then this would be the batch out toward the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex marching to the east, moving into Canton at that time. I'm going to step by step through here going about every hour throughout the evening and you'll see how it sharpens up on the leading edge here into Gilmer and through Tyler at about 815. So I think we're going to see some strong winds start to then move into parts of northern Cherokee County into parts of southeastern Smith County, Upshur County and Gregg County. And then these will continue moving to the east. They do lose some of that structure of wind and now they become clusters again where hail could be another focus or downpours, which could create some flash flooding. That's at about 930 and then these move away. We've got to watch the southern branch here toward Nacogdoches and Jacksonville as another additional line may form on the southwest flank and that could create some strong wind signatures out of this. And right in here in Nacogdoches County and parts of Angelina County into San Augustine County, we could be talking about the possibility of a quick spin up. So certainly have to keep our eyes peeled and really kind of watching radar all night long. And then tomorrow morning, we've got some wraparound showers. I think that will come in here on Tuesday. All right, so we have severe weather potential tonight. And if you can do it safely, we really urge you to share with us pictures or video. You can do that by texting us. You can also go to our CBS 19 app and click the near me tab, or you can email weather at CBS 19. TV. All right, between now and 8 p.m., thunderstorms rapidly develop. The biggest threat initially will be large hail. That will then form into a line, and that line between 8 a.m. and 2 a.m. will pose a damaging wind threat. Here's the Baylor Scott and White, Texas Spine and Joint Hospital seven day forecast. Tomorrow, after we get rid of these thunderstorms tonight, mostly cloudy, 30% chance for a passing shower, much cooler, 63. Beautiful weather Wednesday, 74. St. Patrick's Day looks great. Late night, St. Patrick's Day, closer to midnight, overnight into Friday morning. There's about a 40% chance for a few thunderstorms right now. They don't look like we're going to have a severe threat with those. We'll keep an eye on that. And then Saturday, Sunday, spring begins Sunday. How nice is that? 77 and sunny.